Hi guys, my name is LaShawn and welcome back to another video. Okay guys, so we have made it. I am in Aruba. I you can see by the title. It's actually funny because I watched so many Aruba vlogs before I came to Aruba. Ignore this on my shirt. I spilled champagne. I was laying down drinking champagne. I spilled it. But I watched so many Aruba vlogs and somebody said like Aruba is the new Miami and I thought that was so funny. But anyways, guys, we are in Aruba, my boyfriend and I. We are just like on a regular vacation. I cannot hold this right now. Like we are actually staying at the Ritz Carlton. Fun fact, I've actually been to Aruba before. I came a few years ago on a girls trip. I was like a sophomore in college. I had no business coming to Aruba, but I did it with my friends and we stayed here and I loved it so much. The experience was so good. So we decided to book it again, but we're not staying here for the whole time. Um, um, we're staying at another hotel for the second half of the trip because we're here for seven days. Hi guys, welcome to our suite. Come on in. And then here is the closet. Ooh, come on lights. And it comes with a robe and just an ironing board, a safe, all that stuff. So then when you come over to the left, you have your bathroom with your stand up shower, but then you also have a tub. So that is the tub. And then you have your double sinks. <laughs> so the double sinks, and then this is the toilet. So yeah, oh my gosh, there's the phone in there. And then call someone if you need help or if you need toilet paper. <laughs> you have a nice mirror to the left. And then I'm assuming this, once you come into the living space, I'm assuming this is like, Maybe if you have your family with you and they're y'all are like sharing a room, but this is also our luggage right here. You have a workspace, a desk if you want to do some work. Living space, which is very big, a humongous lamp. <laughs> and then right here you have a TV. So they're showing us like that they have like coffee kits. Or ooh, ooh. Coffee kits. Neither one of us really drink coffee like that. There is a fridge in here, and we just put water bottles in here. Gotta stay hydrated. Into the bedroom. And this is the bedroom. The bed is really soft. Have to test it out. And then, of course, another TV, drawers, a place to sit, two nightstands. It's like really spacious in here. And then this is the best part. This is our balcony and it's like a double balcony. It has just like a sitting area. And like this is all of our stuff because we were just sitting out here chilling. So it has a sitting area. These chairs are extremely comfortable. And then over here, come, come, come. A table area where I guess you could like eat and stuff. So that's really nice. And then when you go back through this door, we are back in the living room. Hey guys, so we are all dressed to go downstairs and explore, get some food and maybe sit by the pool for a little bit. You guys have already seen this outfit in the DR, so there's not much to really show. Um, but we aren't doing anything you know special we're just going to get food really quick but then we have dinner later tonight so then i will you know get real cute but i love this and i just paired it with these shoes i'm also gonna wear these white sunnies these white sunnies so i'll see y'all downstairs we decided on like the pool beach bar shack type of thing so we're getting tacos pina coladas what'd you get to drink and a pimento punch wow that bird got really close to me 
So yeah, I'm excited. I'm so hungry. It's so beautiful here. Let me show y'all the view. Y'all already ate the food. We got tropical tacos. There's one taco left. I forgot to show y'all. We were so hungry. There's flies everywhere. Hold on, let me show y'all. So good. 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10. day two slash our first full day in Aruba it's like 11 almost 11 30 so we have a late start to the day but it is very gloomy outside unfortunately um we did wake up to rain this morning but it ended up working out because we were so exhausted let me tell you guys about yesterday the last time you saw me I think I was getting tacos, like getting a little snack when we first got to the island. Then we ended up going over to the beach area where we got, you know, beach towels and everything laid out on the ocean and we both fell asleep. I don't know if my boyfriend fell asleep, but I know for sure, like I fell asleep. I ended up falling asleep. I don't even know for how long, maybe like an hour. And then I woke up just in time for the sun to set. It was so beautiful so 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 beautiful um so yeah then after we watched the sunset we came upstairs showered and we got ready for dinner I wore this cute little green dress we went to gianni's um and we got their famous like cheese wheel it was so good and i was so happy because i had the che a cheese wheel in dominican republic and i it was absolutely disgusting i hated it um, but this cheese wool was really freaking good. Y'all gotta clean my face really good. I washed my face and cleansed it really well last night, but my face does not do well with makeup for some reason, so I just gotta clean it really good again today just to be sure. Like, I already feel like I got a bump coming up right here. We both kind of gave the restaurant like a 7 out of 10. Like, the food was good. The pasta bowl, if you ever had penne a la vaca, because you could get it with the red sauce or white sauce, we got it with the red sauce. And it tastes like penne alla vodka, which I like a lot. So um, we got Caesar salads, drinks, bread. It was vibe. Then after that, we got gelato at this little gelato shop. Because I guess G Gianni's is like downtown on their strip. So it was bumping out there last night. And it was a Tuesday. I was not expecting that because we didn't plan to go out. But then when we got out there, we were like, should we go out? But then we were just both super tired. The first time I came to Aruba, it was not that many people outside. But the, also the first time I came was in like March, spring break. And I don't know, maybe because it's July now. It's more people out here. But we just went to this gelato shop that had a really long line. So I was like, it got to be good. And it was good. Um, and that was pretty much it. And then this little, this man that was like working the downtown area he was like security he helped us call a taxi because we was just about to thumb it and be like because we don't know how to get taxis around here but then my boyfriend asked him like how do we call a taxi and then he's like oh we have a light and they have flashlights so they stand on the side of the road and they flash the taxis and that means like someone wants a ride so that was really cool because we would have looked like we were fool standing out there with our thumbs up <laughs> we ended up coming back to the hotel and just calling it a night we knocked out by like 11. I think my boyfriend fell asleep at 11, I fell asleep at 12. And we slept all the way in until 9.30 this morning and we're just getting outside because it's been raining. So there was no point for us to go outside, but it stopped raining, it's still gloomy. 
my lace is stopped raining, so we're gonna walk. There's like a 19 minute walk um, up the beach to this place called Eduardo's Beach Shack, and they have acai bowls, so we're gonna have that for breakfast. And then hopefully by the time we get back, because around one or two, it's supposed to get sunny, according to the Apple Weather app. So by, hopefully by the time we get back, we can go to the beach pool and you know, have a nice little day. But nevertheless, I'm so excited. Hey guys, so I'm actually editing this video and I realized this part was very confusing for even me to understand when I was explaining it. But basically I was saying if you plan on taking taxis in Aruba, go on their government website and they actually have um, cab fares already planned out. Everything has a set price to get from one destination to the next. And I was just trying to give examples like from the airport to like high rise hotels here, it'll be $31. And I was just giving a whole bunch of examples, but it's a good way to not get scammed. Um, there is a price set price point made by the government for all rides and all taxi fares. So this would be very helpful if you plan on taking taxis. One of the taxi drivers were saying after 11 p.m. all the taxi rates from 11 to 6 a.m. I think the taxi rates go up an additional three dollars for like late night. So that's just good to know. Um, I know in some countries people can just make up their own fares because I feel like in DR when we took taxis like people just kind of made up their own fares <laughs> like nothing was ever consistent so it's really nice to know that it'll be like a consistent price and you'll know before you go like how much you're going to be spending on your ride. Okay guys change of plans so it did not stop raining it was still raining when I came out here and we were going to go to the beach shack to get acai bowls. Um, yeah, it was still raining and we didn't want to walk in the rain. So we just ended up having the staff heat up our leftovers for last night and we're eating those. And yeah, I think it stopped raining now, but it's still like a little chilly. Like the sun isn't out yet. It's just very gloomy and rainy, so we're just gonna eat this and then see where the day takes us next, so. A few hours later. Okay guys, so it is almost 4 p.m. or it is 4 p.m., hold on. 4.09 and the sun is finally out. It finally stopped raining, so we are dressed. We're going outside for the first time today. We just put our sunscreen on. Um, the sunscreen that I put on yesterday is like breaking me out. So we tried a different one today. I'm just wearing this orange bathing suit with my Tory Burch slides. And I'm gonna take this cute beach bag. How cute is this? I got this from Sheen. I think I got the bathing suit from Sheen too. Um, and then I'm gonna put on a pair of cover ups. I just don't know what I did with them. I just had them. Here they are along with my sweatshirt to bring that inside. This literally just broke. These pants are from Sheen though. So what do I really expect? um but it's okay we'll see y'all downstairs i'm too pressed to get out of this hotel room okay guys so this is my final look i know you can barely see because the lighting is just not the best but this is what we look like i just laid the you. i love my hair it's so freaking cute <laughs> done sorry it looks very yellow in here they only have lamps in the room but we are done i am doing this outfit which i actually wore in the dominican republic but i didn't get any good pictures so i'm gonna see if i can get some good pictures tonight if not i'm just gonna hang up the outfit but we are going to go to boogaloo's which is kind of like a beach shack for dinner and drinks and then we might go out tonight we're not sure yet, but let me show all my outfit. Okay, so this is the set. It's from O Polly. I love this set. I paired it with my Hermes Oran sandals, and I have some gold jewelry and anklets. And yeah, and then I'm also going to wear this bag with it. I think it's so cute. I bought it just for the beach, but I also think it looks good with this outfit, so... Let's go to dinner. Also, I forgot to update you guys. When we went downstairs, we went to the pool for a little bit and caught a little vibe. We had pina coladas because that's like our favorite thing to drink here so far. And then we went to the beach and we got in the water. It was chilly at first, but then like we warmed up to it. Also, we went during the sunset time. So I think um, 
that's why it was a little cooler but i just cannot get over that sunset we've watched it both nights and it's just so beautiful so yeah now i'm ready to eat Hi guys. <laughs> I don't really know, but um <laughs> Ooh. Girl. So we ended up going to Boogaloo's and the food, let me tell you guys, if you ever come to Aruba, do not eat there. Like I am so sorry. That food was disgusting. <laughs> the food was disgusting. We got like their loaded fries. And then my boyfriend got the fried fish basket. And then I got their boogaloo wrap, which had like chicken steak. And it was like a wrap. And like all of it was just. Whew. But the drinks, um, they were also not really good. <laughs> oh, it just was not good. If I had to give the whole thing a rating, I would give it like a four out of 10. I'm sorry to them people, but, but let me tell y'all, the atmosphere was really good. The music was good. Tonight was karaoke night. My karma is literally dying or I don't have memory. Yeah, they had karaoke night. They had a live DJ while we were there. It was just a vibe. The music was good. The atmosphere was good. So if I were you and you wanted to check it out, you just I would just go for like literally the music and to dance and stuff like that. But don't eat the food. But definitely, I beg you, do not eat that food. Like, do not eat that food. I came back here and I ordered me a chicken Caesar salad for room service. One, just because I wanted to order room service. And two, because I'm a little bit hungry. After all the shots that we took at the freaking Boogaloo place. <gasps> but yeah. So this is a salad. Just a regular salad. So we're going to eat this and go to sleep. Good morning, everyone. It is day two, three. I don't really know. Our second full day in Aruba. Y'all, the sun is shining today. It is beautiful. Let me show y'all. Some sort of construction back there. Um, but yeah, it is beautiful. So it is about nine o'clock or nine thirty. I don't really even know. But we are about to head to breakfast. We are finally going to try Eduardo's Beach Shack. And then when we get back, we're gonna hang out around the hotel before we check out and go to our next hotel. And then I think we're going to go rent a car and then just explore the island and go to dinner later on. So we have a very busy day today and I'm so excited, y'all. I'm just wearing this orange outfit. I had it on yesterday when I thought we were going to the beach shack, um, but we didn't end up going, so I'm gonna wear it today. It's really cute, but I'll see you guys at the beach shack. Oh wait, I gotta tell y'all, that salad last night, if you're ever here, in Aruba at the Burst Carlton. Y'all gotta try their Caesar salad and add grilled chicken. It was so good. It looked, it tasted way better than it looked like. The grilled chicken was like a whole chicken breast and it was just hot and it was, it was so good and juicy. Oh, it was so good, but yeah, I'll see y'all at the beach yet. Hey guys, so it was actually incredibly too windy in Aruba to really understand anything that I'm saying when I'm outside but I was explaining that this is just the path right here that I was talking about last night and it runs from our hotel um, at the Ritz Carlton which is on the very end of the hotel zone all the way down to like some other hotels so you are able to walk this path to get to not only like the other hotels but some of these like shops that they have along the um Path. They also have like different restaurants with happy hours and bars and all that stuff. So I really enjoyed this path. It prevented you from having to like walk in the sand a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm just showing you guys around the path as we make our way to Eduardo's Beach Shack. And I believe this path actually ran all the way to Eduardo's Beach Shack. 
beach shack excuse me um it did have a breaking point where there wasn't a path so you did have to walk on the sand for about five minutes but then the path started back up again so i think this is where the path is about to end and we have to get on the sand Eduardo's Beach Shack. Y'all, I'm in a rush. I gotta get ready. Um, I'm not dressed or anything at all. And we have to check out of this hotel in about an hour and a half. Before we check out, I wanna go take some pictures because I didn't get any pictures yesterday, especially because it was raining. And I wanna like, they have this cute little drink stand that they're doing. They're making like fresh organic. I don't even know if that is really a thing. Beverages. <laughs> like alcoholic beverages, um, but I want to try that before we check out. I would give Eduardo's Beach Shack probably a 7 or 8 out of 10. It was pretty good. It was fresh. The only thing that sucks is you have to eat it really fast because, you know, acai bowls are cold, but since it's so hot here, it gets the fruit and the smoothie gets hot really, um, or the acai base gets hot or gets warm really fast. So, yeah. You got to eat it really, really fast or you're going to be in hot acai. You know, it was packed when we got there. We were like the second or third person in line. And it was just that. That's just what it was. And then by the time we got out of line, I went back around to like look at the sign again. And the line was wrapped around the building. So we got there just in time before they started to jump off. Y'all should definitely check them out. And they also have like avocado toast and stuff like that. That's their vibe. It is hot today 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 honey i'm really thankful though because yesterday was ugly out okay guys so this is the final look i have on this white bathing suit from opali this pink cover-up is from shein and then i just have my oran sandals on with it and i'm thinking about putting on this hat it looks kind of weird right now, but it's really cute on. I am also taking my beach bag. I'm obsessed with her. And, and to tie in the pink, I also have these pink Versace sunglasses that I just got and they are so cute and I'm excited. You guys already know if the pictures turn out cute, they will be on my Instagram. So definitely follow me at Soshan, S-O-O underscore S-E-A-N. You will see all the content there first, always. Um, and if they don't turn out cute, y'all know, y'all ain't gonna see them. So um, we're gonna go take pictures and then we're gonna check out of the hotel. I look so cute. It's giving, I'm a Barbie. Okay, y'all, so we ended up getting our rental car. The last time y'all saw me, I was about to go downstairs and take pictures by the swings, which we ended up doing. They didn't turn out that great because we were rushing, so we're going to do a redo tomorrow morning. That's neither here nor there. That's fine. Um, we got our rental car. It's so small. I cannot wait to show you guys. We're about to park. Um, we're going to get some KFC because we heard it's really good in the Caribbean. So that's what we're about to do. We checked into our second hotel, but they had two rooms. One was ready, one wasn't. He said the one that wasn't ready was like a better view. Um, so I told him that we would wait. So it's one o'clock now, or it's 1.30 now, almost 1.30. And the room should be ready by four. So we have some time to kill. 
So we're gonna go to KFC. Ooh. These roads are crazy. Also, we did get an upgrade on this room too. Uh, my mom is actually, fun fact, a like titanium elite member for Marriott because she travels for her job. So she put, she booked this room for me. Thank you. Um, Shout out to Mama Teresa. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm very grateful. Um, so like she's done this before so whenever I go places they're like oh we see that you're an elite member but today that he didn't do that he was like oh is Miss Teresa with you and I was like no that's my mom she, he was like oh well we see that she's an elite member you can get all the benefits except the welcome there was a welcome gift he said he couldn't give it to me since I wasn't her but the most important thing he gave me 10% off of all food and drinks so I was like I'm fine with that I'll take that and he upgraded the room so yeah y'all we're at KFC I haven't had KFC in years is what it looks like okay guys so this is the car she is small very much so small <laughs> me and the whip whipping me okay we washed our hands i got to the two-piece chicken most biscuit fries and mashed potatoes. This is what it looks like. Oh, this is what it's good. Very much. And this is what the mashed potatoes look like. Mm. And then we'll back to it. Let's try it. This is hard because I haven't had KFC in so long, so I don't even know what to compare it to, but it's okay for fast food. It tastes like KFC. There you have it. Okay guys, we are back at the hotel. We decided we're just gonna come back and like chill in the lobby, maybe have a couple drinks and charge our phones. KFC, it was KFC. Right, what would you say? It was KFC. Like it was just, it was fast food. Would I get it again? Probably not, but it was okay. I hope it doesn't make my stomach hurt. It's been a, I don't know what's this trend with people saying different fat food tastes different in different countries. Yeah, when it and, really and just all be tasting the same. It all tastes the same. I mean, they're using the same recipe, so why would it taste the same? Mm -hmm. They tried to say New Orleans, the Popeyes is better. Mm hmm. And it wasn't. So. All right, but we'll see y'all in the hotel. So this is the door, and then right as soon as you come in, you get the bathroom right here, yeah. And you got your shower, and the toilet is all the way back there. This is the shower, it doesn't have a door on it. That's how it was in the Dominican Republic. And you have the double sinks, okay. All right. And then coming on this side, you have a closet. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> and then you have like a coffee station slash mini fridge. Yeah. All right. And then you're just going to keep coming and you have your bed. You have a TV, of course. Don't mind our luggage. We literally just came in here. And then you have a mirror right here. <laughs> All right. And then if you keep coming this way, you have a little sitting area, which is nice. And then, of course, the balcony. Oh, push out. Push out. This is the balcony. And the view. Let's go back in. We are staying at the Marriott Stellaris Casino and Resort, Resort and Casino, something like that. So we're staying here. We're going to be here for the rest of the trip, which is until Tuesday. Today is Thursday, by the way. 
we are, I don't know what we're gonna do. I think we are gonna get food. No, we're not. We just ate. Or maybe go to the pool, or maybe go to the beach, something like that. And then we are gonna get ready to go to dinner tonight. So I'll see y'all then. Guys, so I decided to do none of those things that I listed in the video. Ooh, the sun. And instead, I decided to take a nap. I woke up, I'm changed in this cute long dress. I am gonna show you guys it when I get to dinner. But we are on the way to dinner. We're going to the Flying Fishbone in Aruba where you can have your um, dinner in the water with like your feet in the water, your tables in the water. I tried to book that like a couple weeks before we got here, but they emailed me saying that they were booked for those reservations um, in the water until like September. So pro tip, you're, if you're coming to Aruba and you're interested in having that experience, you should do your reservation like a couple months in advance maybe like when you first book your trip i don't know um but the lady said that they did have some tables on the beach so we're still gonna do that that's at six o'clock it's like 5 34 right now we're on the way there it was about 30 minutes away from our hotel so yeah guys i'm really excited i have my hair in this cute little style do you guys like it you can barely see because the sun is like so harsh because it's like setting a little bit so I'll just talk to you guys when I get to the hotel. I mean, it's a flying fish boat. Dolce de leche. Miss, I don't want any. <laughs> they literally gave him two spoons. <laughs> they already knew. Y'all, the cookies and cream, I already tried it. <sighs> this is so much better than the gelato I had yesterday. Which we should have known because the line to get this was wrapped. I should have recorded it. What would you say? Like 10 people in line when we got in line. And then by the time we moved up, there's probably like 20 people behind us. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. So Jerry's like, well, you, you can go back down there and get you one. No, I'm gonna get one tomorrow though. <laughs> Jerry's stomach is feeling better, but we're just gonna chill for the rest of the night. How we got on the balcony and plan out our excursions. We do wanna do two excursions. So we're gonna go book those and just sit out on the balcony and chill. I might end up going back down there to get me some gelato. I don't even know. But it's so crazy because we saw these group of people um, at the Flying Fishbone where we went for dinner. And we saw them, they took pictures of us, we took pictures of them, they were really nice. They're from Maryland. And then when we were standing in the gelato shop, which is in our hotel, we saw them again. And then we get off the elevator at our floor and we see her again and we're like, you're, and she's, it's so funny because they are literally two doors down from us. Aruba is so small. Aruba is so small. But she said they're leaving tomorrow, so. 
Nice meeting you guys. I would give Flying Fishbone a nine out of 10. Like if you guys are ever in Aruba, you should definitely try it. The food is really good. Um, and the ambiance is obviously what you go there for. I, like I said, like I said earlier on the way there, I tried to get us a waterfront table a couple of weeks before our trip. And they told, emailed me back saying, you know, it was sold out until September. And then when I got there, he called our name and he was like table for two and he was leading us down and he goes all the way down to the water and he was like do you want to be as close to the water as possible and we're like yeah and he literally set us in the water so it was crazy but we didn't dress for i know you fucking lie <laughs> yum i wanted some more Miss, I don't want none. I didn't know it was going to be that good. I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, he set us in the water and it was just so great. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. Everybody, I can't say good morning because it's definitely the afternoon. But today is Friday. I don't know what day we are on on this vacation. But we woke up today late because we're going to brunch at a Dutch pancake house. I think it's called the Dutch pancake house. Um... So we're going there for brunch. I'm really excited. I've had Dutch pancakes before. Didn't really like them. It gave major crepe vibes. But my boyfriend's never had them. So we're going to try them. It is another gloomy day in Aruba. We think it's going to rain. But it's okay. Because we're just going to go look for souvenirs today. And go downtown. We were going to go beach hopping since we have the car. But we're just going to do that tomorrow. Because it's going to be really sunny. And yeah guys. That's about it. Um, we kind of decided not to do really much mini excursions because we just wanted to relax the last few days that we were here. We were going to do the ATVs, but I don't think we're going to do it. We might go see the flamingos, but we don't really know yet. It depends because we just want to hang out by the pool and the beach for really the remainder of the time that we're here. So we'll see. But let me show you guys outside. So this is what it's giving. As you can see, it's like really cloudy and it looks like it's about to rain. My camera's logging up too, but yeah. The pool does close at seven o'clock here, the pool in the hot tub, which is really unfortunate because it's kind of early, but it's okay. We'll be back before then. So let's go on an adventure. I'm going to show you guys around the island too while we're driving because I noticed I didn't do that yet, but this is just all I'm wearing today. Something slight since we're not doing too much. This black dress is from Sheen and these black shoes are from Sheen. Sheen, Sheen, I don't know. Hair is from the beauty supply store. All right, y'all, let's get this day started because I cannot wait till it's closer to nighttime so I can give me some of that gelato. This bag again today, I only brought this to carry it to the beach, but it just goes with so much stuff and it's so cute that I've been wearing it with everything. It's from Shein. I love it so much. So this is going to be the bag of the day. We have this tripod in case I need to um, take pictures of my boyfriend and I, my cell phone. I have a nice beach hat, my sunglasses, water, and my Fujifilm camera. I think that's all I should need today. downtown like look at all the people behind us after like 20 minutes of looking we finally got a spot so now let's go eat
Okay, guys, so we are not at the flea market, so we are looking for Jerry's mom and and then we're gonna get ourselves a shot glass and maybe a magnet for our apartment. And this is what it looks like. There you go, I like it. All right. We got the goods. Y'all, I literally just went to the men's bathroom on accident. Went to the bathroom, was in the middle of washing my hands before I realized it was a men's restroom. How embarrassing. <laughs> and this one didn't say a thing. I opened the door to try to tell you. I already closed the door. Okay, guys, I am literally sweating and my camera's about to die, so I'll be really fast. Did you guys even understand what I just said? But we just left the flea market. We got Jerry's mom a fan because she collects fans. We got my niece, my nieces some shirts and a shot glass and magnet for us. All right now we're gonna go back to the hotel and get a charger because Jerry's phone is dying. His phone is the only phone that works on the island. My phone only works under Wi-Fi. Um, so we need his phone for like GPS and stuff. So we're gonna go get a charger and I'll probably get some gelato. Um, and then we're gonna go get some, we're probably gonna go purchase a bottle and I don't know, maybe chill by the pool, beach, something. I don't know, but you guys will be there. My camera's dying, so I do need to charge that. Okay guys, so it's now 6.34, it's been hours later. I got my gelato, it was so good. I got dolce de leche and cookies and cream mixed. Mwah. So freaking good, it's so creamy, just amazing. Um, and then we decided while his phone was charging and my camera was charging that we were gonna go lay out on the beach. So we laid on the beach and I ended up falling asleep for two hours. So it's now 6.30 and we are headed to dinner. We're going to a local spot, it's called Kamini's. We actually saw it on another YouTuber's channel and she raved about it, so we're gonna go try that out. But it closes at eight and it's saying that we're gonna get there at 7.12, so we hope that we can like be sat. Um, so yeah. Unfortunately, I have a terrible headache, guys. Like, I don't know, we took those shots. And I'm the type of person, if I take shots and I don't keep drinking, I'm just gonna get a headache. Like if I take a shot, if I take two shots and I just stop, I'm gonna get a headache. So it's like an unfortunate thing about me. I don't think I ever gave you guys my review for the Dutch Pancake House. We said it was an eight and a half or better. It was really good. We enjoyed it a lot. I didn't like the Dutch pancakes. I had them a few years ago when I came, but my boyfriend wanted to try them and he did try them and he also did not really like them like that. But they had other things on the menu. Like I tried their mini pancakes, which were like more American um, and they were really good. And then I had eggs, bacon, potatoes and was, everything was really good. Most of really good. But we just don't like the Dutch style pancake personally. Um, yeah, if you guys are here and you want to try out the Dutch pancake, I think that's the number one Dutch pancake place in Aruba. And they also have other things. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now. We are back. It is Saturday in Aruba. So we've been here for I don't even know how many days. But today we are having a beach day. We're gonna be beach hopping. Um, I'm really oily. We just put on sunscreen. We're gonna be beach hopping. We're going to Baby Beach in Mangel Hotel. Mangle Halto. I think that's how you pronounce it. Beach. We might go to Arashi Beach too, but maybe not. And then in between we did I'm too excited. And then in between beach hopping, we plan to go to Z Rovers, which I heard they like catch their uh, seafood fresh daily and then they cook it for you. You just get to pick what you want. So we're excited for that. We didn't end up going out last night. We plan to go out tonight. Hopefully, I know we keep saying we're gonna go out, but honestly, we're both really just not pressed to go out, but I know we just have to do it just to do it. So we'll probably go out tonight. Hamini's Kitchen, that's where I left off. It was so good. I got the oysters, the 10 piece oysters. Um, 
Oh yeah, they were muscles. I got 10 piece muscles. They were actually an appetizer, but I wasn't that hungry. So I just got that. And you can choose between garlic or curry sauce. And I chose the garlic sauce because they said that was more popular and it was so good. Um, and then of course I got a pina colada because I'm addicted. My boyfriend got roti with, and for the meat he got you? curry goat. And I tried that, it was really good. I would get that again if I went back. Um, I would describe it as it being like a tortilla, the roti, like a really warm, like flaky tortilla and you dip it in the curry goat. I don't know, you could choose from different meats. It was really super good though. And Kamini was actually there. I found her restaurant on YouTube. I was watching a whole bunch of Aruba vlogs and this girl went there and she was just like raving about it. She said it was so good. So then we decided to go. And then the owner, Kamini, was there and she was like asking how we heard about it because it's not like in the tourist area. It's on the other side of the island, kind of more where the locals live. And I was like, I actually saw you on YouTube. And she was so surprised by that. So shout out to the girl who put me onto that. Thank you, girl. Um, so yeah, we're about to get our day started. And then also these are the souvenirs we ended up getting. I never showed you guys. So let me show y'all really quick. We got this fan for Jerry's mom. She requested it. It says Aruba on it, and I don't remember what else, but I think it has the island, like a map on it. I'm not sure. We got that. And we got this shot glass, and it has a map of Aruba on it. I'm not going to unwrap it just because I don't know how to wrap it back up. <laughs> so we got this shot glass. We collect shot glasses. We get one from every place we go to. And then we got two magnets. We only wanted one, but she told us we could get another one. So we got this one. It says Aruba on it. It's really cute. And then we got this more colorful one that's wrapped up. And it also says Aruba on it, but it's like more colorful. And then I got my niece's shirts. It's so cute. And then I got this one from my older niece. They're the same shirt, just two different types of pink. And that's all we got so far. Okay guys, so we got some pretty cute flicks at the beach. And now we are headed to our first beach. Our first beach is gonna be Mang Mango Halto. Mango Halto, um, which is 23 minutes away from here. So. Hotel Beach. It was so beautiful. We took a whole bunch of beautiful pictures. I do not want to leave, but one, my memory is about to die, and two, we are on our way to Zeroverse for lunch, and then we're going on to our second beach, which is going to be Baby Beach. But Mango Hotel, I don't know if I'm saying this, I think it's Mango Hotel. Hotel. I don't know, but it was so good to us, and it was the most beautiful beach that we have been to yet. So I'm excited for Baby Beach. Okay guys, so we have made it to Zebo first. It was only like five or six minutes away from the first beach. I put a little cover up outfit on. Hands of the day will be mahi mahi, wrap, uh, yellowfin tuna, sorry. Hands so, of wahoo. Wahoo. Okay. So this is the wahoo. Okay. Got the elephant tuna right here. Okay. And some small pieces of uh, mahi mahi. Okay. Uh, One piece of wahoo. One piece of wahoo. And then can we do the shrimp? Of course. Sexy yeah. people. Sexy people. Just one pound for two. It's like 14 pieces of shrimp. Okay. And then seven cents for each one of you. Okay. okay. That way you don't fight at the table and we don't have to kick you out. Okay. <laughs> right? Let me know if it's good. You want more or less? Then dip me underway You can kill my mother with love and I will
just left Z Rovers. It was good. The shrimp, I didn't really care for them too much. They were a little bit overcooked, but they were like shrimp with the head on and they weren't de-shelled and then they were fried. So it was really interesting, but I am happy that we tried it. I've always wanted to go there. So it was packed, y'all. We probably late waited in line. How long would you say? 45 minutes? We probably waited in line for 45 minutes. That line was so packed. And at first it was not moving. And luckily we were standing in the shade, but some people weren't standing in the shade. But then like once this big family like got their order out of the way, it started to move like a little bit faster. But the staff was like super nice, of course. Everyone here is really nice. And he helped us kind of like navigate the menu and like told us like, you know, how it kind of works. So basically I guess they catch the seafood every day. They have shrimp and then like some sort of fish and they weigh it by the pound and you pay for it by the pound and then you take it to get cooked and they cook it and they bring it to your table and you can get drinks and whatever it's fun and it's on the water so it's a really good experience if you're in Rupa you should try it I would recommend it so now we are headed to baby beach it's about 4 30 so we're just trying to beat the sunset so we can spend a little bit of time here yeah and that's gonna conclude our beach day guys we are both so like I'm out of breath. That's how full I am. Here, y'all, Baby Beach is literally on the opposite end of the island. I'm about to show you, like, from where we came from to where we're going. It is so far. Okay, guys. So this is where we came from. Like this area right here, and this is where we're going. And that is where we're going, right at the tip of the island to Baby Beach. And Mango Halta was probably like right here in the middle. Even though it looks like super far, um, probably from our hotel to Baby Beach without stopping, it probably would have run us like, I would say what, 40 minutes? What? From our hotel to Baby Beach without stopping. Anywhere? 45. 45 minutes, so. It's not like hours away. The island isn't that big, but it is like a 45 minute drive. back from our beach hopping beach hopping excursion homemade thing that we did it was so much so much so much fun baby beach was so beautiful unfortunately we did get there kind of late since the wait was so long for z rovers i think we got there around 4 45 and they started to put the chairs up at 5 30 um i don't think the beach closes at any time but the guys that rent out the beach chairs they leave at 5 30 so we weren't able to rent a beach chair but we just put our towels out and made it work and we were there for about two hours and it was really fun it was beautiful i think we both agreed that we thought that mangle halto was a more pretty beach and it had like less people there baby beach was kind of crowded um but they were both very beautiful and i'm glad that we got to go after that i think we just came back showered we sat down for a little bit and now we are going out finally we've been in aruba for like five days and this is our first night going out i just have my hair up and these little like um pigtails and then i'm wearing this outfit here i'll get my boyfriend to show you guys okay so i have this set it's actually from Shein. it's really cute and i'll probably just wear like i don't know some sort of brown sandals but this is the outfit and we're going out. <laughs> it is sunday um we are still in aruba today we have to return the rental but we decided to take it for one more spin because we want to try caribbean o'neill which is 
literally on the opposite side of the island again it just seems that everything that we like is on this side of the island um so we have to return the rental car at 12 45 it is currently 11 08 and we are still 11 minutes away so we're doing that and then after we eat we just have to fill the car back up with gas and then we drop it off so it should be a pretty smooth transition and then we're gonna get a taxi back to the hotel and for the next two days we're just gonna chill and be beach bums and yeah last night was a vibe we ended up going out on their little like strip we started off at this place called I think it was called Papia Mia and they had pe they had pizza but we didn't get pizza we got wings and like their flat bread breadstick type of things which was really good we got a couple drinks there and then we moved on to Fat Tuesdays where we got shots drinks and then we went to like another bar but we just stood outside and watched the fight for a little bit and then we ended our night at Gusto's nightclub and it was jammed packed in there and it was just insane so we stayed there for like I would say 30 minutes and then we just headed back home to the hotel. I think we're gonna go out again tonight, but I'm not sure yet. If you're in Aruba, I would definitely recommend getting a car. I think um, because I kind of knew a lot of the things we wanted to do were on the other side of the island. So from where we are staying to like Baby Beach, Caribbean O'Neill, all these places that we've been going, it's $50 per ride. $50 there, $50 back. I actually think it's $51. So we thought it would be cheaper for us to just get rent a car well i think we had it from thursday to sunday and it was 200 dollars, 206 dollars. so that worked out better for us if you don't plan on going a lot of places and just staying near the resort i think it's only seven dollars per taxi to travel locally within like the resort area then I, it probably wouldn't be worth getting a car but if you want to like explore the island do not take a cab just rent a car is so much cheaper and that's with like um insurance and everything included into that price we used hertz right or budget, budget. no we used budget but they have like a ton of different brands we just chose a random one we used budget but yeah that's my little rant so we are headed to lunch and i'll see you guys there i'm really excited we weren't gonna come here we were gonna come here last night for dinner but we were like we're just not hungry enough um and then i was just gonna say whatever but i was looking for a place to eat today and literally all of the tiktoks were like caribbean o'neill was my favorite restaurant caribbean o'neill was the best meal i had there so i was like you know we still have this rental car for a little bit longer we gotta try it so let's see too sexy for this chain too sexy for your game too sexy for this fame yeah yeah i'm too sexy for the trap too sexy for the cap too sexy for that jack yeah yeah okay all right that's fine Okay, okay, I'm feeling too sexy to accept requests. And so we just left the restaurant. It's actually called O'Neill's Caribbean Kitchen, not Caribbean O'Neill's. I don't know where I got that from. But it was super good. I would give the food a 9 out of 10. I ended up getting the traditional jerk wings, and then it comes with like rice and peas, mashed potatoes, plantains, and I think salad. And it was um, and then I got a strawberry daiquiri to go with it and then my boyfriend got the red snapper and it came with all the sides I don't know what drink he got but he said it was really good I actually didn't even try your drink it's crazy but he said it was really good um yeah the food was good I would definitely recommend going there if you're ever in Aruba I think it was actually my favorite meal that I've had my boyfriend said his favorite was Karina's kitchen I don't know if you guys remember Karina. Oh, Kamini's Kitchen. One thing about me, I'm gonna butcher the name of a restaurant. Kamini's Kitchen. We went there a few nights ago. So now we are on our way to the gas station to put some gas in this little car. And then we are headed to the airport to drop the car off. And then we're going back to just chill on the beach, so. So we filled up the tank. I think it was on half a tank and it was $36.45. To fill it all the way up i think they said their gas is like seven dollars a gallon here Sheesh. so it's been a minute i think the last time i saw you guys is when we were dropping off the rental car well we got gas and we dropped it off then we caught a taxi back to the hotel and then just caught a vibe honestly the whole day we've just been by the ocean we got in the ocean a couple times and then just chilled on the beach i got me a nice little tan that's really mu pretty much it um but now we are headed back downtown to their like little strip area we are gonna try to go to lola's um restaurant it's like a mexican restaurant i believe so we're gonna try to head there 
for dinner. I have on this cute outfit I'm gonna show you guys, and then I'm drinking some water because your girl is thirsty. But I'm gonna bring my camera and show you guys some more of the nightlife in Aruba. And then tomorrow's gonna be our last day. I'm really sad. One of my friends commented on my story, Instagram story today and was like, you've been in Aruba for like a year. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, but yeah, y'all follow me on Instagram at Soshan, S-O-O -O underscore S-E-A-N because you'll always see everything there first. But let's get into this outfit. Okay, I have on this teal-ish type of dress from O Poly. It's so freaking cute. I love it. My Hermes white sides, of course. And then I'm going to bring this bag. So it's giving like the little white and blue vibe. It's really freaking cute. This dress is so cute and it feels so comfortable. All right, let's go to dinner. Okay guys, we are back from dinner. I don't know what is wrong with my camera, but it like did this random, hold on, I'm gonna try to set y'all up here. My camera did this random thing when we was eating where it did not want to turn on. Well, it turned on, but it didn't want to record. That was really weird, but my boyfriend did something, played with some sort of setting, and it turned on. My camera's only a year old, so I don't know what the drama is, but she needs to get it together because that will keep stressing me out. And then on top of that, I'm just having all type of technical difficulties because my Fuji film, which I've been taking very cute pictures on this whole trip, I took two pictures of us at dinner. I don't know what's going on. I took a picture earlier. Let me look for it to see if it did that too. My boyfriend took me this picture earlier and it worked. So I don't know what's going on. I'm assuming it's just the lighting. That makes me feel a little bit better because it was a little dark in there, but I don't know. Two film in the trash. Um, We went to Lalo's. What? We went to Lola's. So basically this restaurant that we went to today was called Craft X Lola. I don't... One half of the menu was like one side of the restaurant. One side of the menu was like another side. I don't really know, but all the staff t-shirts, how I figured it out, all of the staff's t-shirts said Craft X Lola. So I'm just assuming they put together two different types of food, maybe like American and Mexican. I don't really know. But I ordered off of the Lola menu. We had the nachos for an appetizer. They were bussin' bussin'. And then I ordered the chicken tacos off of the Lola's menu and they were really good too. My boyfriend ordered off of the craft menu. He had the Korean style chicken burger. It was basically a Korean chicken sandwich with fries and that was really good too. And then we had the margarita picture. Everything was really good. Guys, tomorrow is our last day. So we're going to bed early. Actually, it's not even early. It is 11.10. Um, but tomorrow's our last day, so we're going to get up early because we're going to try to parasail. But it's been hella windy today, and it's supposed to be windy again tomorrow. So we don't know if that's going to happen or not. But that's on our agenda for tomorrow. It may be like jet skis or something. I don't really know. Basically another beach day with hopefully parasailing. But I'm going to go ahead and close out for today. I have nothing else to talk about. And I'm going to wash this makeup off and hopefully wash First 48. I've been obsessed with washing First 48 every night that we've been here. <laughs> we are so stuffed, y'all. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so bloated. I ate, oh my gosh. And then I had the audacity after I just named all that food to order some elotes at the very end. I didn't even record that because I was embarrassed. But I ordered elotes and it came with two cobs of corn. My boyfriend had to eat the other one because I could not get it down. I was, I'm so full. But good morning, everyone, and welcome to the final day in Aruba. We are just waking up. It is like I'm lying. We didn't just wake up, but we're just getting outside. It's 12 o'clock. We're just gonna chill by the pool and the beach, and hopefully get to jet ski today, and then we have dinner tonight. And that's pretty much it. Our last day. I'm really sad. I am wearing this really cute pink bathing suit from Opali, it's like a stringy type of bathing suit. And then I'm gonna pair it with my hot pink sunglasses. So that's the vibe for today. Back home 
parasailing. It was, it was stressful. Um, I'm gonna insert some clips and pictures from us parasailing right here. But y'all, let me tell y'all, I still hate it. I still hate it. I would never do it again. I only did it because my boyfriend wanted to do it. He claims that he liked it, but at the end he was throwing up. So I really don't know. <laughs> he has really bad motion sickness and like the boat ride there was super bumpy. That didn't bother him. But when we went up in the air, he thought that it felt like we were on swings when we were on like the parasailing thing. Um, and he hates swings. Swings make him nauseous. So when we got back down, he was feeling like a little sick. And then obviously we were the first group to go. So we had to wait for other, you know, families to go on the parasail. And while we were waiting, he was just getting more and more sick and he ended up throwing up over the side of the boat, but he said he feels good now. I'm back in, I'm better. <laughs> he just brushed his teeth. <laughs> he just brushed his teeth. So we're about to head back down to the beach for probably only two more hours before we have to get ready for dinner. So we have to soak in these last two hours on the beach. Y'all, I am getting so tan, but I'll be back when we're getting ready for dinner. Okay guys, we are back from the pool. I just showered. Um, I think I got sunburn on my nose. I forgot to put sunscreen on my face today. Actually, I forgot to put it on my whole body. I'm not even gonna lie. We ended up just chilling at the ocean. I don't think one single time we even got in the pool. This whole trip, we really just came for the beach. So that's how we spent our last day, just chilling on the beach. It was a vibe. Now we are quickly getting dressed for dinner. We're just going to Ruth Chris, which is right downstairs um, for our last dinner. And we're gonna try to get some sunset photos before because the sun is setting and I love the sunsets here. So I'm gonna hurry up and do that and I will probably see you guys when I'm done. Okay guys, we are done getting dressed. We took our pictures in the sunset. I'm gonna insert them right here. They were super, they were super freaking cute. And now I'm dressed. I have on another dress from Opali. Let me show you guys. Opali and then the shoes are from Shein. They're really comfortable because they're like that platform heel. So it's really cute. My earrings are from Shein. Chains are from, I don't know, my mom got them. And then bracelets from Alex and Adi. And I'm wearing this gold bag to match everything. And it's from Shein as well. I think it's one of the best songs on the album. Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday. It's our last day in Aruba. We are actually headed downstairs to check out. My boyfriend's making sure we got everything. I'm so sad. Like, look at it. I don't want to leave. It's such a beautiful day. They're playing music at the pool. I do not want to leave, but we got to get back home, y'all. We got to get back home. It was amazing. Last night, we went to Ruth Chris for the first time. It was so good. I like did not want to say that that was my favorite meal that I had while we were here because I would just feel bad. Caribbean O'Neal was really good, but I want, I think I have to say that was my favorite meal that we had. It was so good. I'm just looking at everybody at the pool, but I can't, we gotta go. Um, our flight takes off in like four hours. So we're gonna head to the airport. I'm thinking if I want to get some gelato on the way out. <laughs> Cause we never got it again. I think that's all guys. This concludes our seven days in Aruba. It was so much fun. I'm so sad to leave, but I will see you guys in the next vlog. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.